Next, we're going to go ahead and explore using the sleuth kit with a full disk image. Now, um, so you can see in this list, there is an extra tool listed in here and the order is a little different because um, full disk images require a little bit more and just a few more steps um, when investigating those. And then, so if we go ahead and clear this from the previous example, this is our full disk image. So we're going to have to note that name. So we can always just start with the image statistics. And um, Mac is not case sensitive, so I don't have to follow like the caps there but I'll go ahead and get those image statistics so we can see this is a significantly larger file than the previous examples and again we have another um, raw image type so the next step now is the MMLS command which is a new one so the MLS tool is needed for full disk images and will not work on partition images because what it does is it displays the contents of the disk images volume volume system so a partition image is not going to have a volume system because it's just one singular partition but an entire disk image may have multiple partitions and so that requires some extra steps when investigating it so we're going to go ahead and run the MLS on this disk image. And the information we get is that we can see that this is a DOS partition table. And the information that we are most interested in is the partition ID of 002, which is where we have our file system. And this tells us a little bit of information. We can see that the file system is an NTFS um, file system type. It's not FAT12 this time. And the key piece that we are most interested in is this 63 value under the start column. That's where the file system, or that's where this partition is um, like designated to start essentially, but that value is known as the sector offset value. And it's going to be very important from this point on because we will literally not be able to use any other of the commands, any of the other commands without that value, because that value when running the other commands on a disk image with multiple partitions is telling the sleuth kit, which partition to look at in order to pull the information that we're asking for. So we're going to go ahead and move on to um, the next tool, which would be going back to the FS stat. Um, and so this will be where we demonstrate that off sector value. So with a full disk image, we are going to be required to use an option for every command. And we're going to want to remember that value, which was 63. Then we'll just follow the regular protocol, which is using the disk image name and we'll go ahead and get information on the file system. So you'll see in this example, I didn't request just doing the file system type because we already know the file system type is NTFS. We can see that from the MMLS. The reason I want to run the file system stat on this is because if we do, it'll tell us what exactly the operating system was for this disk because NTFS can be applied um, to Linux and Windows operating systems, but NTFS is a proprietary journaling filing system that of like from Microsoft. And so um, NTFS has been standard on Windows systems since Windows XP. So we can, if we run this, we can get an idea of which version of Windows or even Linux this is attributed to. 
um, it most likely will be a Windows operating system because it's standard, but it, it could be a uh, Linux. It doesn't have to be Windows. So we'll see with the results and we see here that it is in fact Windows XP. Um, a lot of this other information isn't anything we can really do anything with. So that's just really what we wanted to know is what version we're um, working with. We also get the volume serial number, which can be used with like the physical actual computer piece. This is just a virtual investigation, so not very important to us at this point. But that's um, essentially like how the MLM, how the um, MMLS tool works in order to get that off sector value and um, the FS stat. So if we were to try and run, I'll just go ahead and clear this. If we were to try and run the FS stat without that off sector value, we'd get an error. So if we did it like we did with the other examples and didn't just did the name of the image, we would get this error saying it cannot determine the file system type. That is because it needs to know specifically which partition to look at to get the statistics of the file system. And so moving forward, we'll go back to the FLS command, which again will require that off sector, that sector offset value. And so we'll just go ahead and get the list of the root directory. Now this is gonna be a much larger list than what was seen on the partition images. And we'll see a good variety of things. So we have directories, we have regular files, we have some with asterisks, which means they're unallocated. And we see the inode values look a little different on this example. So those are a lot of numbers, but the one that you really just need to focus on is typically just the first piece of the like of the numerics you're seeing there. So if we were to run if we wanted to know the file list of one of these directories, say of my documents, which is um, 330-144-7, we would just need to type the 330. We wouldn't need the dash 144-7. So we'll go ahead. We do still need the, off the sector offset value, always. You cannot forget that. And then we'll do the 330 inode value and we should get that list and yes we do we do indeed get a list of that specific directory um, and we can see within this directory there are more directories more directories than there are files and you could spend all day just going down the rabbit hole on those just file listing directory after directory after directory after directory um, but with a disk image size of, with a disk image this size with this many files, that's going to get really tedious and it would just be a lot more efficient to recover the files and look through them through a normal um, file system. But we'll go ahead and that's the next step. So we'll just go ahead and recover this uh, full disk image. So. We do want the, um, can't forget the off sector offset value. We want to also specify that we want all allocated and unallocated files recovered. And we'll go ahead and do the name. Oh, I'm missing, oh, I forgot the name of the output directory. So that's the error you get when you don't specify to the sleuth kit what you want to name the output directory. So I'm go ahead and recall, recall this recovery four. I don't think I've used that one yet. So this one's going to take a while because it, 
it might take a minute because we do have a lot more files this time around that the sleuth kit needs to recover. So we'll just have to kind of wait a little bit patiently as it recovers all these files. And there we can see it recovered over 11,000 files, close to 11,400 files. So we'll go back to the um, file system on the local computer and we'll see that that directory, that output directory was in fact placed where we expected it to be. And now we'll go ahead and jump into this directory of the much larger file system so we can see a lot of data is in here and this is where you get to just kind of play explorer so if we wanted to look in the recycler see what kind of trash was dumped in there um could be something of value in here there's like an info weird info to file i don't know look at my documents there's some interesting um, names for directories in here exploitation that might draw your attention then you have NT and Unix um, you have just directories after directories after directories but if you did find um, like a file of interest like say this exploitation folder so we know that that's in the my documents directory. So if we wanted the inode value for that, we would just have to really go and look. So 330, which we already use. So we should see that exploitation, which is has an inode value of 10503. So we can, if we, we had interest in that, or we found anything worth of evidence, like, um, you know, more so than some of the other evidence that's in there. We'd go ahead and get probably the metadata on that. So we do iStat, don't forget the sector offset value, and then do the name of the full disk image, get the inode value for the exploitation directory. So 10503, 10503. And we can see quite a bit of information from the metadata this time. The, the information is also a little different. We can still see that it's an allocated directory, but we can see quite a few segments of information as far as the, the timestamps go. It looks like the directory went through a name change. It was at one point E-X-P-L-O-I symbol one and then it was changed to exploitation. The timestamps are the same across the board no matter which section you look in. So that would probably just be something to note for the case um, in that, you know, the nature of the case would determine kind of the value of those timestamps. That would, that pretty much would uh, conclude the investigation of a full disk image, really the biggest change in steps is that MMLS command and getting that off sector offset value because you will not be able to conduct any other commands or tools without that. So it's very important information. It's just as important as the inode value. That will conclude the demonstration of investigating a full disk image. And the next video will cover some other tools that the Sleuth Kit offers that are pretty useful.